Hey besties, welcome back to another vlog. I'm super excited for this vlog because I feel like this video is going to be so entertaining, and to me at least, because I have so much plans. Within the next few days that I'm excited to bring you guys along with, tomorrow I have a concert, which that's gonna be a good time. I mean, who doesn't love a good concert? I'm seeing Mark E. Basie, which I wanted to see him a couple months ago, but he had canceled his tour and now he's going on a new tour and I'm excited for all of his music because I've been listening to his new stuff and I love his old stuff, but his new stuff is like really, really good. So I'm so excited to see that live. And right now I have like a bunch of hauls to do. I went shopping this like past weekend, so I have like little things here and there. And then I also got two like gigantic packages like this size that I'm excited to unbox in front of y'all. No, my camera's dying. Okay, I'm gonna charge it and then I'll do the thing. Hey guys, I'm back. My camera battery is charged. I charged it for an hour, so hopefully it can last. But for now, we are gonna run with it and hopefully it doesn't die out before this haul is over but if you've seen any difference i got a bunch of necklaces so i guess i'll show you them this way because i already wore them but these two came in a set and it's like a paper chain necklace and i got the initial h from my grandma and then i got this gold chain which came a lot thicker than expected so i don't know if i like it i i don't know if this is my vibe i think it's a little bit much but <laughs> but I like this one and the main reason I got this was because I love the paper chain necklace for charm necklace makings If you haven't seen them, they're all over my Pinterest board and I got a bunch of charms So I definitely will do like an arts and craft thing later tonight So I'm excited to do that with y'all. I will show you guys the charms then but there's so many cute charms like there's cherries There's little heart lockets and just so much that i'm so excited to show you guys stay tuned later for arts and craft night with me i think the most exciting part would be a book unboxing i don't really know where this is from it's just like a black box do the honors with me and we will open it together i'll let you guys look nice oh my gosh oh my gosh what is this holy moly okay what oh my gosh wait that is so stinking cool what the heck okay i got a little makeup pouch and then i got what is this <gasps> Ooh, some eye patches oh my gosh this is the um it's a dupe for the loxiton hand cream and there's this girl on tiktok that always does like is it cream cheese consistency oh my gosh so excited to try that i even got in Ilia mascara oh my gosh and a cheek um stick blush which i love elf and i love blush so that is perfect but the most exciting part i got a shirt from hulu wait what wait i'm so confused i'm genuinely so confused hulu what did hulu send me this oh my gosh okay what is this oh <gasps> wait what does this say baird college this says hulu hulu tell me lies hulu sent me a pr package is this real or is this fake is this for real <gasps> cute okay you can definitely see my t-shirt sticking out but cute oh my gosh yeah i'll put my necklaces out oh my gosh thank you hulu thank you for all these goodies I'm so excited. I'm so shocked. But, oh my gosh. I'm just so confused. But I'm also, like, so starstruck. Thank you, Hulu. Oh my gosh. Anyways, next package. I don't know who this is from either because I don't know the sender. Okay. Oh! Oh! I got the Olive and June and Colleen Hoover PR package. This is so freaking cool. Dun dun dun! Oh! I I just went to a little free library and I had always had suspicion like that house is a reader because they always have like really popular titles they also always have arcs and I'm like okay they must be a reader or something because they have access to all of these books and I just saw it ends with us in the little free library and now I just got a copy so like did they also get this PR package that is so exciting so excited to show you guys what's in it they actually sent me a package with everything in the collection earlier so now that the collection's actually released i do have the pr package from it this, i have this color on my nails i painted it then i went to bed so it's kind of messed up but they sent me that these are the other 
things in the collection. I think this is another part of it. It's like a box and it's like a book box kind of situation. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. <gasps> this is a nail polish remover and you just like dip your finger in it and it removes all your nail polish. <gasps> So excited for that. And then we have a little nail kit, I believe. This has like all the materials you would need. This like helps you hold your nail polish when you're like putting it on. A buffer, nail clippers. Um, oh my gosh, cuticle, what is this? Cuticle serum, a nail file, and a little nail art brush. So excited to try that out. Thank you so much, Olive and June. I am also featured on their website, or not their website, their TikToks. If you want to check them out and then you see me, say hi. Moving on from PR packages, we were talking about Little Free Libraries, and I was doing my rounds of Little Free Libraries. I've been doing them every day. I have a bucket in the back of my car of all books I want to get rid of. I do a little hot girl walk, and I drop them off wherever I see a Little Free Library, and I try not to get anything because the goal is to unhaul, not add more into my collection. But I saw these two books, and I literally could not give them up because I am so excited to read them, and they were on my TBR. I have Frederick Backman's Us Against You. I I wanted to read A Man Called Ove, but then the movie came out. And so once it becomes a movie, I am always more intrigued to go see the movies because I love going to the movies. And once I see the movie, I usually am no longer motivated to read the book. But so excited to read this now. I don't think it has plans on being a movie, but I just always really wanted to read his work. And this one is like a little hockey book as well, or there's like a theme of hockey in it. Then I have Honey Don't List. I thought this was a cute little romance. This is by Christina Lauren and they have wrote a lot of romances like I remember reading them when I was in high school so they have been in the romance genre for quite some time. I also have a clothing haul like a little spring clothing haul because I'm so excited for the warmer weather especially because my concert is tomorrow. I just wanted to like stunt out and look really really cool. So I did some shopping at TJ Maxx and I'm gonna show you what I got. Unfortunately I don't fit this. I should have tried it on, but the line was too long. This weekend, I don't know why, all the stores were just so jam-packed. So I was lazy and I didn't try it on because I didn't want to wait in line in the fitting room. And of course, this shirt ends up not fitting. Then I got some pimple patches. I am obsessed with the cream shop one, but they didn't have any when I went because TJ Maxx is like, if you have it, if they have it, they have it. If they don't, sucks. So I got these ones instead, and I'm actually really obsessed with them. These ones are... They're kind of clear once you go on so I can apply makeup over them. I tried them last night. I woke up this morning and they actually, like I could see the white stuff being pulled out where sometimes I didn't see that with my last pimple patch. So I am a really big fan of this. I love all Korean skincare though, so I might be biased. Also at TJ Maxx, I got this little long sleeve. This is really cute. It is a bit cropped, but I really like it. This one does fit, so I'm excited to wear this. I might wear this to the concert tomorrow. Then I got this leather jacket. Also also for tomorrow but also keeping in mind that I just don't have a lot of like going out jackets like I feel like all my jackets are like big puffers and sometimes when you go to the club when you go to the bar I don't really want to wear a big puffer I just want like a jacket yes to keep me warm but I also want to look cute also if you've seen my last videos you know that I've been obsessed with like bronzers so got a new little bronzer this is a mini baby one from physicians formula I really like it. I do feel that it is a bit light for me though. Like sometimes I have to pack it on, so I might have to get a darker shade. That is my haul of everything I currently have right now. I know it might seem like a lot, but those two PR packages in the beginning, I was not expecting those. So I'm super grateful for them and I'm glad we could unbox it together. I don't know what else I was gonna talk about, but let's just move on. Whatever the next clip shows. Morning besties, it is concert day. I'm so excited to go to a concert tonight, even though it's the middle of the week and I'm probably gonna wake up a little bit tired tomorrow but it will all be worth it because I love live music so much and I feel like there are so many artists I want to see but one getting tickets low-key is really hard like Olivia Rodrigo's I want tickets to her concert so bad but couldn't get them for Sour couldn't get them for Gus couldn't even get them for Guts the second round when she did like the star platinum thing so I'm very very sad about that but hopefully I can go to more concerts this summer or like this year because that is one of my goal is to do more things that I love and enjoy like live music but in preparation for that I just ate lunch and I'm gonna make a little chain necklace or like charm necklace for the concert I love this like paper chain style necklace I think it's so cute especially with charms but I was thinking I don't have any gold kind of 
hardware or like gold jewelry making things like i have silver wire i have silver i don't even know what these are like i think you can make your own jump rings with those but i don't know but i couldn't find any jump rings but i do have these like earrings for jewelry and they do have a little bit of a circle so i'm like can i cut those off and then use them as the loops but I have all my pliers and tweezers and all of my charms. You guys have to let me know what horse ring looks better because I can't decide the length of the necklace, which I think is perfect for charms because they'll just hang off right here. I love the style necklace. I think I might even get another set. I know it came with like a little pendant, but I love that it came with two paper chain. They are 14 karat gold plated, which I know is like not the best quality but it was three dollars for two and you get a little pendant and they're like pretty sturdy in my opinion for three dollars let me show you all the charms that i have i have this scale which is like very libra core i have a peace sign because i love peace by taylor swift a book which is so fitting a four leaf clover which i think marky basie has a song called four leaf clover so that's fitting but I could wear this any day. It's very gold and white theme, which I really like, so I'm excited. This is so complicated, guys. Everyone makes it look so easy from like the videos I've watched. You can write it up, you can even post it. I don't wanna know. So sticking cute. This is what it looks like on. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. <gasps> I love this so much. I think this combination is so pretty. Hold on, I wonder how it looks like with the longer chain. This is so slay. With my outfit tonight too, whatever it is that I end up wearing, it's gonna be slay. Hey cuties, it is about time to get ready for the concert. I have on my outfit, let me show you. It's nothing fancy, it's this crop top that I got at TJ Maxx. I showed it in the haul in the very beginning. And then these high-waisted jeans from Target, I believe. I feel like this is very cute. I love the way it looks with the necklaces and then I'm gonna wear the leather jacket just because it's really cold today. I was trying to wait it out because someone out there is mowing their lawn, but it's 5.30 and I would like to get ready even though I'm probably gonna leave at like 6.50 or something because I am a little bit nervous about the parking situation. I heard it's like neighborhood parking or something, so it is what it is. But I was thinking earlier today, when my life isn't right or like when there's something going on, that is such like a thief of joy which makes sense like now that i'm saying it i'm kind of like no duh but if there's like something on my mind and it's constantly running in my mind i will always bring it up even at fun moments like oh i have a concert today but this happened so i'm gonna focus on the negative rather than the positive and excitement and i don't know why and i feel like that has been me my entire life i can't accept things the way they are like i can't just be like it is what it is and move on like i always say it is what it is and then i'm going home writing like 13 pages in my diary and sobbing about it by the end of the night every time i wear mascara it's like down here and it just makes me look like a raccoon and i look miserable so i haven't been wearing it and i really been liking it it's so almost freeing because i don't have to worry about like my lashes and i feel like lashes have always been like the biggest part of my makeup that i was like insecure about i'm gonna go in with the danessa myrick yummy balm this one i used to wear as a foundation but i've really been loving it as like an extra primer almost because it fills in my pores so well and the packaging is just so cute Look at that. It comes with a little spoon. I love going to concerts. I love live music, right? Which we all know. I think I shared that in this video. If the artist happens to sing a song that I don't know, I will let the song go for like 30 seconds. And I'm kind of like, like dancing around like that when I don't really know the song. And then I'll just start singing. Like, do I get it right? Probably not. But like half the time I do. But once I get like the vibe of the song, I get a feel for the lyrics. I'm like, okay, I'm going to sing it. Or sometimes I just even mouth the word. Usually by the second time the chorus goes around, you kind of like get the song. But I still fake sing anyways because I feel bad that if the artist looked in the crowd and I didn't know the lyrics, they would think I'm not a fan. And I'm like, no, I love your music. I just don't happen to know this song. I don't know if that one is relatable, but it is something that I experience. Anyways, for dinner, I had spring rolls, which I freaking love. And I made them myself. And usually you wrap it with like rice noodles and like on a rice paper with veggies. And I had it with salmon. I use the wrong rice noodles like you're supposed to use it with boom which is it's in Vietnamese it's boom but I used it with hotiu noodles so it 
was like really weird and i didn't notice until after i made my first one and then so i ate one with hotio noodles and then the rest i just didn't i saw somewhere on tiktok where like right time right place this girl was like rating all of my bronzers and she gave this one an 8 out of 10 and she said someone used it someone really famous i forgot the name she did mention it but i forgot some famous person used it and so they were like get it while you can because it's affordable but it might sell out i feel like now i look kind of sunburned because i put on a little bit too much blush but i'm gonna take a clean brush and kind of go over that i think that's it I'm re I'm ready to go. This is so much better lighting than my bedroom. So let's do a complete outfit of the day. Even though you see me get ready. This is the makeup that I ended up getting my hair. This is the makeup that I ended up going with. My charm necklaces. So cute. I'm so happy with the way these turned out. I think it's so freaking slay. Like that is adorable. And then the outfit. I have a bodysuit by Parade jeans by target belt is h&m and then i put on the ribbon and then i put on my keys so then i don't have to i don't want to carry a purse digital camera in this lipstick in this i'm deciding to bring the kosas wet stick in tropical bliss and then wallet on this side <laughs> and then the leather jacket is from tj maxx so excited. I'm so excited to go. I should leave soon because I need to take some things out of my car because I definitely don't want to park in the street with those things visible. So I need to do that and then I will go. But thank you so much for watching me get ready. I'm here guys. Okay, well I'm not here. I just parked my car. I have to wear glasses because I can't see. But my friend said, let's meet in front of the theater. So I'm gonna walk there. But I parked kind of close. She parked a little bit further. So I, I think I'm good. I was super nervous about parking. There's no line, so I feel like the so show is not sold out. Um, it seems very chill. So that's that, but I'm excited. And you start busting it out and you're like, you know what, follow me in the shower because it sounds way better in here. city to my personal life and career and the first good Marky Basie show ever was opening for Kehlani. Concert running to my car. <laughs> I'm back, guys. I actually got back an hour ago. The concert ended pretty early. It ended at like 10 30. I got home by 11. It's now 11 55 because I was downstairs eating. But like, I was, I was, I, I was, I don't know what you call it. De stressing, de whining, debriefing alone. It was a lot of fun. Here are my little thoughts. The opener was absolutely amazing he was incredible i will definitely add his music into my playlist like he was very good very short though very brief but great interaction with the crowd and i love the engagement it was a smaller venue so i expected it to be kind of like very intimate and very chill when the main artist came in i thought the band was very loud like i couldn't even hear um him sing but it was still a good time i mean live music is always fun and i think he's just kicking off this tour so he did share that he was nervous kind of singing in his new stuff because his old stuff is super popular and he feels that his like new stuff represents him now i think i should get ready for the night but thank you so much for joining me on this fun little vlog i am so happy i got to take you on a glimpse of my life this week even though it's like the middle of the week thanks for watching me be a shopping girly thanks for watching me get ready and do arts and crafts and go to a concert with me it was so much fun and i'm so excited to have you guys on this journey but yeah i think i need to go to bed so good night or good morning or good afternoon hi wherever whatever time it is for you but i love you all and i'll see you in the next video